Welcome to the future of Colorado football. Yo, what's poppin' people? Your boy Snacks is back in the building with another banger. You know how we do before we get started. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to turn your post notification bell on so you know when your boy is dropping this heat. And always, leave your comments in the comment section. Let's talk about it. Coach Pat Shermer, OC, is speaking on his past, his present, and the future of Colorado football. What he's been through, where he's coached, what he's done in his career and what he's looking forward to in the upcoming season for the Colorado Buffaloes. Let's take a listen. What's up, Doc? You all right? Oh, yeah. Well, football was always a part of my life from a, from a very young man. And so it's always been a passion of mine. Most of my career, obviously, has been in the NFL. Uh, I started out in uh, Philadelphia with Andy Reid. I was able to work with Donovan McNabb and Michael Vick. Nick Foles and a lot of great players. I was fortunate to uh, go on to St. Louis and, and be an offensive coordinator, then a head coach in Cleveland. And then we kept moving on from there. Went to the Vikings, was the offensive coordinator for Case Keenum when we went 13 and three. Man steps into it, passes, caught! Jenks, side of the line, touchdown! Unbelievable! Then the head coach, of the New York Giants for two years and two years where you know we had Eli Manning was our quarterback and then we drafted Daniel Jones. Saquon Barkley was there with us you know he had uh, a rookie of the year season where he ran for over a thousand. You're running like an NFL back just keep being you huh? I've uh, been able to work with a lot of amazing coaches and players experience a lot of really wonderful things you provide the urgency initially for these guys to get rolling. Because if you don't, who's going to do it? This past year, being here uh, with the Colorado Buffaloes, it's such a young, expiring place. Beautiful throw and a touchdown to Jimmy Horn. Uh, I feel really good about now taking over and, and leading our offense. The goal for the offense is to play winning offense. That's a great rep. That's a good rep. The players... They do the dynamic things, and so that's the system that we're going to try to create. Shador, super talented young man. He's very experienced. He's got a very, very bright future. Did a lot of great things last year. We're going to try to put together an offense that will protect him and then run the football so that what he can do is even more dominant. We're going to do what we can to get the ball to our playmakers, which goes without saying. Uh, you've seen it at all levels. We need to protect the football uh, and be very efficient in, in our performance. Eyes and fingers, focus on a small point. Let's go. This has been a program that's made me feel younger and refreshed. And, and a lot of that has to do with Coach Prime and how he approaches his day and how he approaches building a program. Run! Run on! We're on our journey to win a championship and do it, um, do it in it here is going to be really exciting. Now that's insight on what we're looking for and what's ahead for the 2024 season of the Colorado Buffaloes. How he feels about Shador and what he's looking for in the offense. And what's the goal? As every team's goal in college football is to play for the Natty. But we're stopping we're starting small with the Big 12 championship and moving on to playing for the Natty. But He's very, really, really comfortable with Shador, and they got a great relationship. But you guys let me know what you think about the OC, Pat Sherman, and how he feels about the upcoming season and working with Colorado and Coach Prime. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We out. Peace. Thank you. God bless you all, man. Be safe.